one of every two men and one of every three women will be diagnosed with some form of cancer, yet most people don't know what it really is or how it actually kills you. Intelligence for your life that you can share with your friends, it's Steak Tartare. Cancer is when good cells go bad. Our bodies are made up of billions of cells that provide different functions so that you can do the things you do today. So normally, cells get signals from the body that tell it to do something, whether it's to heal a particular wound or grow your hair. And when a cell goes cancerous, it no longer receives the correct signals to do what it's supposed to do. Therefore, it goes rogue. And when you have a rogue cell, it does whatever it wants to do. It no longer obeys you. It no longer has a job. So now the cell is unemployed and perhaps through certain things like radiation, it may have become senile as well. So what does it do all day? Well, it does whatever it wants to do. It will multiply, divide uncontrollably, or even refuse to go heal something when you're bleeding profusely. And when these rogue cells continue to spread, that's what we call cancer. And that's why you hear the term your cancer is dormant, it reoccurs, it's active. It all means that these cells get hidden, become stable, pop up again, or continue to be rogue. Cancer can occur anywhere in the body because there are cells everywhere in the body. But how does it actually kill you? Well, as the cell grows uncontrollably, they get larger and larger, and pieces can break off and travel to other areas of the body where they can stick to organs and other parts, causing them to grow there as well. Sometimes these pieces can get stuck in arteries and cause blockages resulting in death or it could get large enough to put pressure on sensitive tissue such as the brain, causing fatality. Ultimately, because cancer cells need nutrition to grow, they rob it from other areas of the body, making you weak. Therefore, you could also die from malnutrition. And why don't we have a cure for it? The answer is because cancer is custom to each individual person. Lung cancer in one person and lung cancer in another may be completely different. It could grow at different rates, it could be in different areas, and there may be four, five, or six slight variations of the cancer cells that are there. So each different subtype of cancer would need a different treatment, and that's why certain cancers can be very difficult to eliminate completely. But even if you do have cancer, it is possible to have a healthy life as long as it's dormant and it only becomes a problem once it's active. And finally, the goal of cancer treatment is to remove it or prolong its dormancy through chemo, radiation, or surgery. So there you have it, intelligence for your life that you can share with your friends. It's Steak Tartare. And want to learn more? I have even better videos coming your way then join us on YouTube and subscribe for your answers to everyday questions.